hello and good day in this tutorial i will show you how to gain access to journals research journals for free right journals that are supposed to be paid for right i'll show you how to an alternative way to access or gain access to them for free now so this is an answer to this particular question someone asked me how i uh, got that particular journal I used for the um, simulation one of the simulations I did on my channel so I will be showing you how to access journals now we have a couple of steps to do that right so um, to get journals that are supposed to be paid for you could um, you could either go through your institution right or you could actually pay for them right but if you don't want to go through these two methods you can use a website a website called sci-hub right so this sci-hub has different um, sites when you browse about it right you can use it to gain access to journals that are supposed to be paid for so you have a couple of steps here that you can use to actually do that now the first thing is to locate the journal's DOI and DOI stands for Digital Objects Identifier, right? So when you um, go to, when you browse and you enter a website that contains a particular journal, the first thing you want to look for is the journal's DOI, right? So if you can find the journal's DOI, then there is a possibility of you accessing that particular journal for free right but if you can't find the doi then it might be quite difficult to do that but if you can find it then there is a chance you would get that particular journal for free so whenever you enter a website that um, has a particular journal you want to gain access to the first thing you look for is the um journals doi right once you get the journals doi you copy it and then you paste it in any of the sci-hub links right so i'll be showing you all that in this particular tutorial so um this is the this is the journal i used for that particular model kinetics of sodium borohydride hydrolysis reaction for hydrogen production right and this journal is in the um science direct um website right science direct that's where you can find this particular journal now here you would see from the screen you see access through your institution now that is one way you can actually uh, gain access to journals right so this is applicable to students then maybe um lecturers as well right people that are in the academia they can actually access journals through their institution right and then also you can also pay for the journal right you can pay for the journal if you want to yes you can do that but if you don't want to pay for it then you have to go through this method i'm trying to show you so the first thing to do is to um locate the uh doi like i said earlier so what you need to do is you would always find it either at the top or at the bottom of the page so you either scroll down or you look for it at the top if you don't find it at the top you scroll down to check for it until you find it right so but in this case it's quite it's at the top right so you just copy it right this is it if you can see my cursor right this is the doi here this is the doi so all we need to do is to um copy it right copy you you right click and click on copy link address right so you click on it copy link address then you open a new tab right you open a new tab and then you just search for sci-hub right sci-hub this is the spelling s-c-i-h-u-b right and you click enter and a couple of um websites right relating to sci-hub will appear there are a couple of them here 
right so you can actually use any one you like right so i'll just click on the first one on the first one so when you get into the sci-hub environment you now paste the copied doi you paste it in the um, dialog box you paste paste it there and then you click open right you click open right so this is the journal right once you click open you gain access to it then if you want to download it you can download it here using this arrow right so once you copy the doi to sci-hub and you click open sci-hub automatically gives you access to that particular journal right so if i want to download it all i need to do is click on this right and i choose the name i want to save it as and then i click save right so it begins to download at my bottom left it's downloading right open yes so this is it so that is how it works right so we have been able to download this particular journal right and you can do this for other journals and documents as well that you find online just ensure that you can get the documents doi the digital object identifier right the digital object identifier if you are able to get it then there is a possibility that you can access it right now um so lastly we have to note that this may not work all the time right but it works most of the time right but it may not work 100 percent, right but it will help you a lot in your research work now one of the times it may not work is if you are trying to download a very recent journal right if you are trying to download a very recent journal for example you are trying to download a journal that was published this year right you may not um, be able to gain access to such journals through sci-hub right and it's because it will most likely be that that journal has not yet been added to their database right so a journal that was published this year for example maybe around august or june this year right if you try to um access it through sci-hub it may not be possible right because it's a very recent journal right but you will be able to access journals that were uh, published from last year and uh, previous years right you, you will always be able to assess such journals but journals that were published recently journals that were published this year you may not be able to right but it would obviously be added to the um, database subsequently right in the future so you may still be looking out for it from time to time until you are able to access it via this method right so that's it so it will work most of the time but a few times it may not work right but this is how you can go about getting journals right journals that are supposed to be paid for right this is how you go about it with this we have come to the end of this lecture thank you for joining me like share and comment on this particular video then subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet thank you and have a good day